of CNN. Yes, the channel you watch at the gym while you listen to your podcast. The network has always been famous worldwide for its 24-hour news and people shouting at each other coverage. But over the past few months, the spotlight has been turned on them, especially in the wake of Andrew Cuomo's harassment scandals and then Chris Cuomo's secret defense of his brother's scandal. Well, today, that scandal took yet another twist. We have news now to report involving our network. CNN president Jeff Zucker has just resigned after disclosing a consensual relationship with a colleague. He wrote to staffers a few minutes ago, quote, as part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, Cuomo, of course, fired last month, Zucker says, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledged the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today. Man. This must have been a really weird day for CNN. On the one hand, it's bad that your boss is resigning under a cloud of scandal. But on the other hand, you got the scoop. We begin with breaking news. Did you know that Jeff and Allison were banging? I saw them come in the office together one morning and I totally called it. I mean, I didn't say anything, but I totally called it. Uh, What's this? Just in, I'm also involved? But that's right, Jeff Zucker. The longtime head of CNN is stepping down because according to his statement, he didn't disclose that he was having a relationship with a colleague. And I don't know if this is the full story, but what I do know is that at CNN, it seems like there's no middle ground. When there's a scandal there, it's either someone who isn't disclosing enough or someone who's disclosing way too much. And look, I know this story is gonna come as a surprise to a lot of people. You know, people are gonna be like, wow, someone has been in charge of CNN this whole time? I thought it was just a bunch of roommates that found camera equipment behind a dumpster. But yes, Jeff Zucker was running CNN. And you may not know this, but he's the one who made CNN what it is today, right? He's the one who pushed it toward entertainment more and less news. You know, he's the one who said, enough of those international correspondents, let's just get people fighting on camera. Like, you remember when CNN would just make us watch Trump's empty podium for an hour? That was his choice. Yeah, and the reason he liked putting Trump on so much is because he liked Trump because he knew that Trump was good for ratings because Jeff Zucker is the one who gave Trump the job for The Apprentice, and The Apprentice is the only reason that Trump went on to become the president! Ah! And that's not even the craziest part of the story. The craziest thing is that Jeff Zucker's downfall all started with Andrew Cuomo. Remember him? Yeah, Andrew Cuomo groped women. Chris Cuomo, his brother, tried to help him. So then CNN looked into Chris Cuomo. They investigated him. And then they found some shit on Jeff Zucker. What? So Andrew Cuomo was such a creep that he took down himself, his brother Chris, and the president of CNN. He's like Ronan Farrow, but by accident. I mean, at this point, who knows how long Cuomo's fallout is gonna last, right? He groped a bunch of people. Now everyone is feeling it. You know, he's like a human Chernobyl. 80 years from now, Brazilians are gonna be at war with Australians like, Isso é todo por causa de Andrew Cuomo. All right, but let's move on. From someone who's losing his job to someone else who's in hot water at work. Whoopi Goldberg, co-host of The View and the only coach to lead the Knicks to a winning season. In case you missed it, the five women on The View were having a discussion about Mouse. You remember the graphic novel about the Holocaust? And by the time the discussion was all over, the panel was down to four. This morning, more fallout for Whoopi Goldberg. ABC News suspending Goldberg from The View for two weeks after she made controversial comments about Jewish people and the Holocaust on Monday's episode. The Holocaust isn't about race. It's not about race. What is it about? Because it's about man's inhumanity to man. But it's about white supremacy. But these are two white groups of people. Goldberg apologizing live on the program Tuesday. Yesterday uh, on our show, I misspoke. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. The segment also included an interview with Anti-Defamation League CEO Jonathan Greenblatt, who later commented on Goldberg's suspension. We shouldn't cancel Whoopi because she made a mistake. I heard Whoopi say that she's committed to doing better, I accept that apology. ABC releasing a statement acknowledging that Whoopi has apologized, but asking her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Yep, Whoopi Goldberg is in a whole lot of trouble. And I understand why. 
I understand why people were upset with what she said, because the way she said it, it made it sound like the Holocaust was just some white people who were fighting some other white people, you know, sort of like Game of Thrones. But as the spokesman for the Anti-Defamation League later explained to her, Hitler did see Jews as a separate race, right? and even worse, as a separate species, you know? Like, when you think about it properly, protecting the master race, that was the Nazis' whole thing, you know, race, purity. Like, all these tiki torch bitches that you see running around now, Hitler was the OG of that. You know, in his mind, everyone was supposed to have blonde hair and blue eyes, except for him. He got to look like a, an angry broom for some reason, but that's not the point, you know? So I, I totally understand why people were upset, because the Holocaust had everything to do with race. And I'm glad that Whoopi apologized because, like, I don't think that she was trying to hurt anybody here, you know? I think she made a mistake. And I will say, I, I think it's a little weird that her network suspended her for sharing her view on The View. I mean, if she's remorseful, why send her away? Isn't it better to keep her and then use this as a teaching moment? Like, then you can have everyone watching also learning, like, oh, I actually didn't know that about the Holocaust. Maybe they didn't. Rather than sending her away for two weeks to do what? Reflect and, and, and what, do her own research? I mean, that's never a good idea, you know? Yeah, these days you tell someone to go research the Holocaust on their own, and they'll come back in two weeks like, did y'all know that the Jews have space lasers? And you'll be like, ah, damn it, you on YouTube? Oh, man. Anyway. Let's move on to our next story. Today is Groundhog Day, which leads me to ask, what the hell is Groundhog Day? People pull a rodent out of the ground and then ask the animal to predict the weather? Like, this is so unfair, because if Africans were doing shit like this, and you heard that we pulled animals out of the ground? <sighs> like, there are villages in Africa where people wear animal skins, and if I tried to explain that Americans use groundhogs to predict the weather, they'd be like, but why not just use the satellite data? 